Hey guys, as you can see by the thumbnail, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Snow King Pleco, otherwise known as the Common Pleco. I'm sure we've all seen them in the store, but um, I know there's videos out there about um, these fish and why people don't like having them in the aquarium hobby and why they really feel they shouldn't be in the aquarium hobby and there is some valid reasons for that but I wanted to put my own video out about these fish I've been keeping these fish for 10 years they are one of my favorite fish um, and they are not just the snow king pleco but all the common plecos um, I have always kept the snow king pleco and, and a couple other species in the family um, but let's get right into it I want to get into a few things about these fish and some of these things you may not know about these guys so hang out with me a minute check it out so first of all if you're thinking about getting one of these guys you're in the store and you're googling it and you're looking it up understand if you want one even after you google it and realize that these guys get pretty big. The Snow King Pleco can get up to 17 inches. Okay. I keep these guys because I have big tanks enough to handle up to that big of a fish. Some of these common Plecos can exceed two feet and I don't have a tank big enough for them. They are tank busters. So please do your research when you're looking at these Plecos and do not confuse them with the smaller species such as the bristle nose, the clowns, and Plecos like this. <clears throat> Another thing to know about these fish is they can live up to 25 years, so if you're going to buy it, understand, like I said, the size they get and how long they live. If you're going to buy these things, have a commitment to them and make sure you have the tank size to hold them for a long time. Um, I'm going to be putting a video out about this subject, you know, um, and that is a debate about if you have a fish in a smaller tank does it stun its growth or if you have a fish in a bigger tank does that allow it to grow larger I'm gonna make a video on that <clears throat> and give my opinion on this and my experience with that subject but getting back to the Snow King Pleco <clears throat> yeah these guys can get get big and they can live a long time these guys can be very territorial to their own kind so if you're going to get one, do not put it in a tank with another one. I don't recommend it. Again, on my channel, if you follow me, you understand that I'm a believer on trying things to figure it out because every situation is different. So by far, by all means, try it if you have two of them. But understand if you have two of them, you're going to need double size the tank. But I doubt it's going to work out because they are pretty territorial to their own kind. I want to talk a little bit about breeding with these guys. If you're buying this fish to breed it in your aquarium, it's not going to happen. Let me explain why. It is pretty much impossible to breed these guys inside your aquarium because how they do it is they go just above the water surface and they dig a tunnel about 39 inches deep and then they sit in there and that's where they have their brood and once the brood has come out, the male protects them. There is a farm in Florida that has dirted ponds to breed these guys because that's what they need. As discussed before, it's not going to work out in your aquarium. Things these guys like to eat is algae, veggie, spinach, um, live crustaceans. They are kind of omnivorous. They will eat, they are omnivorous. They will eat small fish and, and live crustaceans and things like this as well understand that if you're buying this fish to help clean your tank because they do eat algae and they will do that job for you especially when they're younger but as these fish get older they get lazy they will still clean your glass I mean we all seen these fish right they're the ones on the side of the glass cleaning algae off thing that's what they do and biofilm but they do like the biofilm and brown algae more than they like the green algae they'll eat it all but I've been keeping this fish for a while. In my experience, they will eat brown algae, the biofilm, and they'll go around the bottom of your sand and, and, and search for food there as well and clean your decor and rocks off more than anything. So, And like I said, the bigger they get, the older they get, the lazier they get. So you're going to need to supplement this tank with some algae wafers, as you should anyways. 
Um, I've been doing research on algae wafers, which is another video I'll be putting out. And um, we'll talk about that as well. Because it goes hand in hand with a lot of fish. Including this video subject, the Snow King Pleco, or otherwise known as the Common Pleco. These guys are from South America. And because of the, earlier I discussed how they, they breed, digging those long holes, these fish have been known to drain ponds frequently and have become a nuisance to some people. They live in stagnant water uh, that has little dissolved oxygen in it. And they can also breathe the atmospheric oxygen from the tank. Their tanks, and they are armored. They have scoots, not scales, and they're very well protected with, with spikes all over their body. There's only one fish that I've had with mine. I tried to put one in my 125 Oscar tank. As soon as I put them in, the Oscars went right after and started you know, mouthing them, beating them up on them, and he would have been fine physically, but even though that may not have hurt him, it can stress him out to the point where he'll die. So I, I took him out of there because my Oscars are set in their ways and they just won't have anything else in there unless I can get a fish in there that can hold its own and not put up with their crap that's big enough to do so, which I'm gonna have to do because they, I need a dither fish in that tank with them guys. Something I can work on. <clears throat> Because the common plecos are pretty peaceful for the most part. And they are sold as a peaceful fish. And I have two of them right now. One was a rescue because that's what happens. A lot of people buy this fish and they get too big. They can't house it and they want to get rid of it. Well, no one wants it. And then they end up taking these fish and throwing them in the local rivers and lakes and ponds. And that's, that's terrible for the ecosystem. It's just not good. And that's why people don't like this fish sold in the aquarium hobby and feel they shouldn't be. If we had more responsible fish keepers, this wouldn't be an issue. Because personally, this is one of my favorite fish. My wife loves this fish. They're awesome. We love seeing them. They look cool. They do clean your tank. But there are some bad sides, bad sides to this fish as I put in my thumbnail. <clears throat> some of them I already spoke about. The other one is they will chase down your fish the bigger the better for them. If they're too small, they'll eat them. If they're big enough, they like to go to the side of your fish and suck on the side of them. I've had to stop mine all the time and they still do it to this day, but it's amazing the personality difference between the two that I have. Because the one, I can go up to the tank and try to get him to stop it and he'll keep going. I'll have to physically reach in and shoo him away. The other one, if I go up to the tank and he's trying to do that, I just go, hey, stop that, and he just, mm goes to the floor and stops like sorry dad <laughs> so just understand they are a peaceful fish but they can have a bad side they, they are tank busters they're gonna uproot your plants they're going to try to suck on the side of your fish and you don't want that because now we're taking the slime coat off of our other fish which is opening up because you know your slime coat on your fish is kind of like their protective barrier to the outside world once you take that away it opens them up for disease and all kinds of illnesses so if you want to keep the fish, you can. Be responsible with it. Understand how big they get. Understand if you get it, it's a commitment. You're talking about anywhere from 20 to 25 years. In captivity, they can get up to 17 inches. In the wild, they can get up to over, um, over a f two feet. So the one I have in this tank here, I'm pretty sure he's at his max size now, and he is over a foot. I haven't measured lately, but he is over a foot. And the other one is on his way up. And I'm going to have to take him out of the current 75 gallon tank and put him in this 125 gallon, gold, gallon goldfish tank behind me. Okay? That's all the key points. Um, so let me know if you like this video. I'm gonna start doing every month a, a spotlight on a fish like this. I've already done the tiger barbs and uh, now here's the, the Snow King Pleco. So let me know if you have any Plecos and uh, let me know if you have plans to buy a Pleco, if you have any questions about them. I've been keeping them for years. I have lots of experience with them and um, he is one of my favorite fish and he is my channel icon fish so thanks again guys you have a good week thanks for stopping by